Hello to everyone and welcome to the Orthopedic Academy. This video is to give you a short description of one of our most popular courses. It's the Advanced Certificate in the Principles of Orthopedics. This course is available online and you can view it on demand. You have full access to the course whenever suits you. This course is approved by the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh and by the Professional Skills Council of Canada. The Principles of Orthopedic Course is the Principles of Orthopedic Course is a comprehensive package that provides an induction into the specialty of trauma and orthopedics. We will cover all aspects of this specialty. We'll cover common trauma and conditions, elective pathologies, orthopedic emergencies, how to survive your own call. We will also cover pediatrics, orthopedics, non-accidental injuries. We will cover spines, as well as other ethical considerations, such as principles of consent. But not only that, not only that, we also have practical module, trying to teach you how to inject joints, how to apply a plaster and how to manipulate common fractures. There is a section in our course there is a section in the principles of orthopedic course to help healthcare professionals interpret x-rays. What are the principles of interpreting x-rays in orthopedics in general? And what are, and we will move on from there to each system, trying to give you an example of x-rays from each system and how to interpret those. The course is suitable for a wide range of audience, all the way from medical students to junior doctors, to senior a &E doctors, general practitioners, those preparing for their membership exams, also for our physiotherapy colleagues, for our advanced nurses colleagues, and everyone, every healthcare professional who is interested in trauma and orthopedics. At the end of the course, you will provide it with a certificate uh, from the Orthopedic Academy approved by the Royal College of Surgeons. This course has been, de has been cleverly designed to provide short, bite-sized information and education that healthcare, busy healthcare professionals can access whenever they, are, they have a free moment. They can log in, complete uh, training as they wish, log off, and come back later on whenever they have time. The course is very cost, cost effective. It's 25 CBD points. It's actually 50 hours of orthopedic education. We're saving our colleagues the time to travel to attend courses face-to-face. -face. The costs of travel, train tickets, hotels, meals, etc., all saved, all saved, so it's very cost effective. Fourth reason, our faculty are always up to date with the advances of orthopedics. They are very keen educators. They have all completed educational qualifications. They are passionate about teaching. They're always available. You can always contact us for any questions or problems. And we are here to help, to help the candidates. Registration is very easy. It only takes you a minute. Yeah, once you register, you can use your email and the password you generated to access our own 
learning management system. And this is the page for the advanced certificate in the principles of orthopedics. As you can see, all the, de all the modules are clearly labeled. Components of each module are clearly identified. You can tell how many minutes the video is. For example, this video is 38 minutes and watch this video, play it here as many times as you want. You can stop whenever you want and come back to it. So you don't have to see it all in one go. But again, you can visit the game for as many times as you need. So you can see the components of each module here to the left. You can download the summary sheets. You can have an access here and download the summary sheets. And then you can review the presentations and review the presentations in a, in a PowerPoint mode. If you're not able to, um, if you are not able to watch the video, and once you've done, you complete a short MCQ assessment based on the teaching you have completed. No need to worry about this MCQ assessment whatsoever. Yeah, you can do it as many times as needed until you pass. Once you've answered all the questions, then complete the test. And as I said, you can do it as many times as needed. Finish the quiz. You get your results. You can review the answers, yeah? For example, this is the answer here. Yeah? It gives you an explanation of the right answer as well. It tells you what you got right and what you got wrong. And that will help you if you want to redo the test. Again, there is no limit of how many numbers you can do these tests. And again, you do the same exactly. All other modules are exactly the same. Here, for example, the spinal modules have some focused lectures, followed by visual presentations, summary sheets, and a short assessment. Once you complete all the modules, the results are get, get sent to the director, to myself, um, review the results and provide you with your certificate normally within a couple of days. I will just do a quick overview of the module. So module number one is about the orthopedic on call. How to survive your on call? What are the common conditions you will face while you are on call? And how you deal with them? ATLS, pre-trauma, Bartman syndrome, neurovascular injuries, joint dislocations, septic arthritis, coda equina, necrotizing fasciitis, fat embolism, pelvic fracture. How do you actually deal with this if you faced with this on a day? We'll provide you with a summary sheet of the key learning points, which you can download. And then you complete your assessment. The second module is about, is about upper limb trauma and upper limb emergencies. Fractures of the upper limb, both in the adults as well as the pediatric population. Full comprehensive review of pediatric fractures And again, visual presentations to download, summary sheet to download, and an assessment form to complete. Module number three is the lower limb, trauma and emergencies. And again, it follows the same system as the upper limb. Here we cover hip fractures, femoral fractures, tibial fractures, ankle and foot fractures, again with flashcards, visual presentations, and uh, assessment. 
Module number four is spinal trauma, other spinal acute and elective conditions. So we'll go over spinal fractures, spinal cord injuries, some of the other common uh, spinal conditions. Um, we'll go over the spinal pathways. Module number five is the pediatric orthopedics. We go over some of the common pediatric conditions um, such as the limping child coming with hip pain and non-accidental injuries. Module number six will be orthopedic pathologies and oncology. We will teach you how to approach any pathological bone lesion in terms of diagnosis and investigations and management. What are the principles of orthopedic oncology? The principles of rheumatology applied as applied to orthopedic practice. Module number seven is the practical module. Here we go about over manipulation of some of, the, of some of the common fractures and dislocations and how to apply a plaster cast. We will go over some of the techniques of doing joint injections and aspirations. And also how to close surgical wounds. What kind of suture materials do you use? What are the various surgical closure techniques? We cannot discuss practical orthopedic without going over some of the principles of skeletal traction and skin traction. How you apply them, what are the main principles? Module number eight goes over the general principles of orthopedic x-rays and MRI scans. We will go over some of the common conditions, some of the missed conditions as well. We go through some case spotters, the general principles of how to read an X-ray, principles of how an X-ray is generated, and how also how an MRI scan is done, which will help you interpret those scans. Module number nine goes over the clinical examination of in orthopedics in upper limbs, lower limb, and the spine. Module number 10 is the elective module, but with the elective upper limb conditions, those include condition causing shoulder pain, elbow pain, and hand and wrist pain. Then we'll move on with the same principle to the lower limb conditions. What are the lower limb condition that can cause pain? Hip, knee, foot and ankle pain. We move on to module number 12. Here we go over some of the principles of orthopedic implants and appliances. History of the orthopedic implants. Today's orthopedic implants have evolved orthotics and prosthetics very important rarely touched on subject what are the main principles what are the differences what are the different types of these orthotics and prosthetics how they are applied the indications and we finish off with a very light module on the principles of consent this is an ethical module okay here we go about the ethics of of consent what are the main criteria for an informed consent and any pitfalls that we need to be aware of each of these modules will include availability to download visual presentations summary sheets and info MCQ assessment, you get provided with detailed answers to enhance your learning. This course is comprehensive. It's the only one of its kind. And we hope to see you all uh, with us very soon. All the best. Thank you.